Hi and welcome back. In the last several videos we've given a good overview of the basics of working with HTML. And in this video I want to go ahead and set up the structure for our project website. And again I'll go ahead and bring that up here. You can see our project website. And you'll remember the last thing that we talked about was um, this using divs to structure our page. And that's the first thing that you really need to identify when you begin to lay out your HTML structure. And again, we're going back to that there were th going to be three distinct phases of developing a website. One, creating the HTML structure. Two, adding the content to your structure. And three, laying out the CSS. This is phase one, setting up the structure of your HTML page. And you can see here, again, we talked about this a little bit, we've got a top div right up here. And then inside of that, we have another area for our logo and another area for our social media icons. We then have a top navigation area here, which is going to be another div. A banner area here, which would be another div. A sub banner area a content div right here, a sidebar div, and finally a footer div. Now I'm going to go ahead and we're in our main.html file and I'm just going to select everything and delete it. So we start over with a nice fresh clean HTML page. And we're going to go ahead and add the code to set up the structure for this page. Now, if you've downloaded my framework, you're going to have a little bit of a head start on this because you're going to be able to just uh, copy and paste some code into this page. If not, you're going to need to pause the video and go ahead and type in some information as I add it. But I'm going to go ahead and minimize Expression Web, and there is my framework folder. And I'm going to go ahead and open that on up. Oops, a little bit too big here. Open that on up and I'm going to go into my framework folder and there's an HTML folder right here and you're going to see basic.html. I'm going to right click on that and say edit with Microsoft Expression Web. Or I shouldn't say say, I'm going to say I'm going to click on edit with Microsoft Expression Web. And you'll see it brought that up next to your main.html. And I'm going to go ahead and highlight everything in basic.html, right click and copy it, or go to edit and copy or control C, and then go into my main document, and I'm going to go ahead and paste that on in there. Now, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this material here. Whoops. And we're going to take a look at this. first thing you can see is we have an HTML tag and that HTML tag is going to contain a head section and a body section. I removed that information from the head section so you could see that a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and paste that back in there. And then inside of the body section we have a bunch of divs here. And then we close the body tag and we close the HTML tag. So you're going to need to, if you can't copy and or if you can't copy and paste this from the framework, go ahead and take this time to type this information in. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and remove some of this here that you're not actually going to need for this project to make this a little bit simpler. Take those extra lines out of there. And we're going to go ahead and remove that. I'll add that back in a little bit later as well as that. Yeah, there we go. And then the main point that you're going to want to get in here are all these divs that are in here. And we're going to talk about that. Okay. Now, you should have all of this information in your main.html page. 
The one thing that we didn't talk about in the introduction to HTML uh, videos that we just did was this statement right up here. And this is called a doc type statement, a doc type statement. And HTML here indicates that this is an HTML page, but there are different versions of HTML in existence. Right now, the most popular version of HTML is HTML4. But HTML5 is quickly emerging. This doc type here is the specifies that this is an HTML5 document. All the code we have in here is basically for HTML4, but this doc type will work with either an HTML4 document or an HTML5 document. The one that makes this a lot better is the fact that it's much simpler to type in. The old doc type for HTML4 was very, very long. So make sure that you get this at the header or above this is the very first line in every one of your HTML documents. But beyond that, everything else that's in this document is something we've discussed in the introduction to HTML series. Now, for right now, just make note of the fact that I have a div here with the ID wrapper. And I call this wrapper because it's going to contain all of the other divs that are on my page. You're going to see why that's important when we get to CSS. But right now, just remember, just sort of tuck it into the back of your head that I have a div here called wrapper. There's the closing tag for it that contains all of the other divs that are on my page. Now, We've got a good start here on a lot of our elements. We have a top div here. And again, looking at our page, we have a top div here. And we do have a couple of elements inside of top. We have the logo and we have the social media area here. So I need to go ahead and create two more divs inside of the top div, one called or one ID'd as logo, and the second ID'd as social media. These ID names are case sensitive. I usually type them in all lowercase and I use hyphens where I would normally have a space because you can't use spaces in IDs. Another way that some people like to write their IDs is like this, social and then media, where the first word is all lowercase, the second and subsequent words in your ID have an initial capital in them. But you can do that whatever way you want. Just be aware that they are case sensitive and that you need to remember what they are because that's going to be important for when we work with CSS. And that's another advantage of starting to work with a framework is where we're, uh, where we're starting is because if you always have sort of this basic definition for a new page, your IDs are always going to be named the same or your basic uh, divisions are always going to be ID'd the same and that's going to make it much easier to remember your names. So we have a top div here that has two divs inside of it, logo and social media. And again, I put a couple extra lines in there just to clarify it. Now, below that, we have a top navigation div right here. Well, I come to banner here at this point, but if I go down a couple of divs, well, there's top nav. So I can just sort of move that up there, just drag it up there or cut and paste it there. So I've got top and then I've got my top nav. Now, whoops, when I look at my project, you can see I have banner and sub banner. 
So we have banner and sub banner. Take out that extra space. And then I have a div here called left nav. Well, when we look at our sample site, we don't have any left hand navigation here. After our sub banner, we have a content area and a right hand sidebar. So I'm going to go ahead and delete this left hand div. Then I've got my content div, my right side div, and finally my footer div. So you can see how we've created divisions for each one of the distinct areas on our page. The top, div, the top div, which has a logo and a social media within it. Then after that, top nav, top, logo, social media, and then top nav. And then a banner and a sub banner. Banner and sub banner. Then a content area, a right hand sidebar, and a footer area. We have content, right hand sidebar, and footer area. And that's going to be the basic structure that we need to lay out our page. Believe it or not, it really is that easy. So first phase was basically creating this the organization or all the divs for the content that is on your individual pages. The next step is to go ahead and begin to add our actual content. That was phase two of our development. We're going to add in this logo. We're going to create this social media section. We're going to set up these links and this banner here and the content that goes inside of the content area and the sidebar. But this is all you need to do at this point to create the structure for your page. And when you look at this in design view, all you're going to see is a bunch of empty sort of marked out areas there with the visual aids. But this is perfect right here. This is exactly what search engines want to see when they're looking at um, a page. A very clear, well-organized piece of HTML that clearly identifies the different divisions of content. And again, in our next video, we're going to go ahead and begin to add the content actually to these different areas. And then we'll begin working on the CSS which is going to make our page actually look the way we want it to. So I'll see you in the next video.